In the last episode, we signed Harry Kane from Tottenham for £150 million. He's not had the best at starts at Manchester United, only scoring, I know it says 17 goals, but that is taken into account his time at Tottenham. I think he scored two goals in like seven appearances, so... Not the best of starts for £150 million. If you watched the last episode, you will understand why we signed Harry Kane. I mean, not all of his brilliance, but the reason we signed him was Jonathan Davis suffered a broken tailbone injury and he's out for another three months. He was out for five, but obviously two months has gone by. So it's going to be a while until we get him back. Will he play for Manchester United again? Who knows? One player certain to leave the club is Anthony. He came into my office and pretty much said that it's either him or Sancho. So Cho Sancho has been in incredible form. So Anthony will be leaving, hopefully, for this transfer window or the next one. But his time at Manchester United has come to an end. As mentioned, it is transfer deadline day. But before we get into that, it's time to get into the press conference questions. Bradley George has asked, in real life, it looks like David Gea will be leaving the club due to his contract expiring. They are looking to sign Onana from Inter Milan. Will you be signing Onana to keep the career more realistic? Obviously, at the time of recording this, David Gea has announced that he's left the club, so I am looking to definitely offload him to try and keep it realistic in that aspect. Onana would be a great signing, and obviously they are, they are linked with him, and I think they will sign him by the end of the window. So I'll definitely add him to the shortlist and look to sign him, but I don't think it's going to be this window because I think we need improvements in other areas. Hussein Gaming has mentioned, try to make a natural striker. I didn't watch the first episode. I don't know if he left, at least you're being honest. After making him a striker, keep him a second choice striker just in case anyone gets injured. Perfect timing because Jonathan David did get injured. Obviously, we brought Harry Kane in. Um, but another reason why that's not possible, I did loan him out in like the first episode, I believe. Uh, because I didn't think we were going to get much game time. And if I'm being completely honest, he wouldn't have. So it's a good decision by me. But definitely next season, I would like to utilise Ganacho as much as possible. And then the last one isn't much of a press conference question whatsoever. I just want to throw it in here just to say a massive thank you. Tyler Bailey said, hey bro, found your content. I love your career mode, especially this one. Hope you become the next big thing. I appreciate any kind words that any leaving comments, it doesn't go unnoticed. I will reply pretty much to 100% of them. So thank you very much for that one. I mean, it just makes me even more motivated to upload more content like this and spend a lot more time trying to improve myself. But anyways, enough of the sloppy stuff. Let's get into the rest of this episode. So as mentioned, David De Gea has left the club in real life, so I think it's rather fitting. I'm going to add him to the transfer list. I know we've renewed his contract, so there's no way his contract's going to expire at the end of the season. So I would like to transfer list him, get as much money as possible, and as mentioned, make his career mode as realistic as possible. But unfortunately, even if we wanted to sign on and now, we wouldn't be able to as he's only just joined into Milan. So definitely one to look for next season. Unfortunately, that is the end of the January's transfer window. I couldn't get any deals done, and I wasn't going to get a deal done just for the sake of making a deal. So unfortunately... No signings for now. And we received no bids for Anthony, so unfortunately for him, he's going to have to stay at the club until the next transfer window. We will definitely still be looking to sell him because Jane Sancho is going nowhere. So unfortunately, Anthony may get, still get some game time, which is good for him, but his, his time at the club is pretty much fully over. But another thing that could be over is our FA Cup run. We have got Everton in the first time we played him. We drew, so we're coming on to the replay. And I'm not going to lie... Don't really mind if we lose this one. And unfortunately, we managed to pick up a 2-0 win, knocking Everton out and going through to the next leg. Laurenti scoring a goal and Jadon Sancho. I swear, ever since that debate happened with Anthony, Jadon Sancho, Sancho scored every single game. But back to the Premier League, we've got a massive game. We've got Arsenal at Old Trafford. Their squad is looking solid. Our squad on the other hand is looking solid, but absolutely shattered. So I don't know how this one's going to go. Marcus Laurenti picks up the ball. We've got a space. Pass it, plays at Casemiro. Casemiro, make a run. Plays it over the top. Harry Kane, take a touch. Finish. Oh, my God. It written in the stars for him to score against Arsenal. And he's got another chance, too, because we've got a penalty. Harry Kane doesn't miss these unless you're playing in a semi-final against France. But Harry Kane, hopefully... Oh, what a finish. That is trademark Harry Kane penalty. Just as long as it's not in a knockout round. Anthony's got a great chance later on in the game. Nothing's really happened. But Anthony got a chance. He's leaving the club. Nope. Can he make a mock on the way out? He's missed... And that is a 1-0 win. Thank God for that. Harry Kane scoring against Arsenal at Written the Stars. And a penalty as well. It's a great three points. Seriously, what is going on with our fixture list? We've gone from Arsenal to Manchester City. Their squad is looking incredible as always. Haaland up front. Our squad this time, I mean, it looks incredible anyway, but a fully fit 11 as well. Normally when we play Manchester City, it seems to go in our favour. So hopefully this one's going to be no different. Rashford's got space. He's going to lead a little bit of help though. He's tried to play the ball. And the just defended that incredibly well. Oh my god, Haaland's turned me there. He's going to score this, isn't he? Over David Gea, lad. That is such a poor attempt. Haaland gets through on goal in his first attempt scores. But that is poor from David Gea. But we've got a chance. Harry Kane puts it on his left foot. Can he finish nope. it? He's hit it on his left and Edison, what a save. And what an opportunity this is. Harry Kane, he's had two penalties at Manchester United. Can we make this 2 of 2? 
Harry Kane, it's not great timing, I'm not going to lie. But he pulls it away nonetheless. What a finish. It's 1-1. One, one. We deserve that one. Harry Kane picks it up. Play it through. Rashford. He's going to have to go on his weaker foot here. Can nope. he finish it past Edison? What a save. And that is a full night. It finishes a one-all draw. I mean, it's not bad of a performance. Harry Kane scoring yet again. Another goal. Another penalty. But a draw against Manchester City. I, I can't complain. And unfortunately, we've been punished for finishing second in our group. We've got Bayern Munich in the round of 16. Oh, that is abysmal luck. I mean, just take a look at the squad. Like, nothing else has to be said. Our squads, yet again, I don't know what's going off. I don't know where our fit fitness coaches have been. But yet again, looking shattered. Oh, my God. This one could be legit murder from Bayern Munich. Bruno Fernandes, corner. Whip it in. Harry Kane, get this on your edge. You go on a scoring streak. Varane, back in. Rashford's got a great opportunity. Nope. He had to swivel on it, but he's not managed to put it away. Laurenti, great opportunity. Sancho's in a lot of space. And that is such an awful pass by Laurenti. Martinez, defending against Martinez. Come on, pick this one out. Oh my God, we will always be the better Martinez. And that is a full night here. A nil-nil in the first leg. I'm not going to lie. If that's what the first leg's anything to go by, I'm dreading this second leg away from home. But moving on to our biggest game of this series so far. We are in the Carabao Cup final. We've got Arsenal. We've got St. Maximin on the left wing, by the way. When did they make that happen? We've got a full fit 11. Manchester United did win the Carabao Cup in real life, so we'd like to return it back to Old Trafford. We've got a strong, fully fit 11. So hopefully this one can go as well as I hope it's going to go. Like that. Kane. Fernandez. Great turn. Love the turn of pace. Fernandez, play it through. Rashford, get behind your man. Get behind your man. We've got him. Is that Ben White? We all know what Rashford could do against Ben White. Finish. What a goal. Eight minutes in. The play from Bruno Fernandes. And then Rashford to have Ben White. I think it is on toast. An incredible goal in the final. And you've got to be kidding me. Harry Kane has picked up an injury eight minutes in. Our luck when it comes to strikers and injuries are just... I mean, the only thing to compare it to is Everton. That is our luck. Well, it looks like Martial's getting a game, innit? Martial, make this your biggest game of your career. All right, here. Plays it. Marshall's made an incredible run. Anthony Marshall. Can we put it away? Is nope. it it? Oh, Ramsdale's got down to it and saved it. Oh, my God. Bruno Fernandes on absolute fire in this final. Straight from kickoff in the second half. Runs past the, all the defence. I don't know what they were doing. They were still in changing rooms, getting a pep talk off. Mikel Arteta. What a goal. Odegaard stepping over it. Plays it short. I don't know why he's played it short. Jorginho, why is he in nope. that much space? Where's our defence there? Thank God for David Gea. Bruno Fernandes got a great opportunity. He managed to get behind the defence. Can we put this one past Ramsdale? Bruno Fernandes he is an absolute fire. Easy as that. 3-0. The Carabao Cup's coming to Old Trafford. Well, back to Old Trafford, should I say. This man, Bruno Fernandes, is unbelievable. I cannot believe Rashford's been robbed of that. Well, I shouldn't have even said robbed. He's done it himself. Oh, you just put that away. You did the hard part. For God's sake, Rashford. And we've got a penalty to make it 4-0. It's definitely guarantee as the Carabao Cup. Bruno Fernandes steps up to make it a hat-trick. Bruno Fernandes is scored a hat-trick in the Carabao Cup final. He doesn't shy away from big game moments. And he's not done in this one. 4-0. Thank God we've won this one. And that is a full night here. Manchester United are Carabao Cup champions for the second year in a row. Bruno Fernandes having an absolute masterclass. This is a great start to our reign at Manchester United. I've got to say, Eric Tanag and myself have done a great job so far. And I'm an idiot. I've just skipped the trophy ceremony. Well... Oh my god, that is such a big L. There you have it, Carabao Cup champions. And emphatically 4-1, by the way. I don't know where they scored their goal from. So we must have been robbed of that one. But Manchester United, Carabao Cup champions. Let's move on to the next one then. But before we do that, we'll return to the news of Harry Kane being injured. Luckily, I say luckily, it still hurts to see. He's out for a month. Four weeks without Harry Kane. £150 million. We severely have the worst look. Haters may say he's done it on purpose because we have drawn Tottenham Hotspur in the round 16 in the FA Cup. Hopefully we're through to the next round on this one. And we've actually been kicked out by Tottenham in extra time. I cannot believe what I'm saying. Harry Kane, you're a fraud. And we are slowly but surely climbing up the Premier League table. We are currently third. Three points behind Manchester City. Seven points behind Liverpool. Who have got a game in hand? Liverpool are an absolute fire. We're back into the Champions League for now. Then we've got Bayern Munich in the second leg. We're doing nil-nil in the first leg. And we are aware anything could happen in this one. 
Martinez, great opportunity. He's got a lot of space. Martinez has closed him down. Lovely bit of skill. Martinez shoots. Nope. De Gea picks it up and he's gone in. Oh my god, that is such a jammy goal. Rashford, great opportunity from a free. I'll tell you what, I'm feeling this. Marcus Rashford, channel your inner against Chelsea. Marcus Rashford. <laughs> You just would give me that. I can't believe you've robbed me of that. And then you give me this against me. Mar Lataro Martinez steps up. David Heyer. Nope. Don't try and pin anchor it, lad. That is so disrespectful. You can have that and you deserve it. And we've got to put it in. Do I return the favour? I'm doing it. I don't care. This is what you get, Lataro Martinez. This is what you get. That's how you score a pin anchor. Marcus Rashford. It's 1 1. Thank God for that. Tell you what, I don't know how far we are out, but Ericsson's stepping over this and I've got to hit it. I've put, I think, perfect power on that. Green time it. Well, you what? Why would you do that? Seriously, okay, we're through to penalties. Oh my god, why I had a feeling that we're in, by the way. Mane steps up for Bayern Munich's first penalty. David Ayer for Nope. Why is all the players trying to prevent it? doesn't work. Bruno Fernandes steps up. He loves to score these penalties. Can he make it another in? Nope. What a save by Manuel Neuer. Tyra Martinez steps up. Is he going to try and prevent it? Nope. He places that one away. Marshall, massive pressure on his shoulders. Anthony Marshall, I've tried to go the same place. Bruno Fernandes dead, but this time in the back of the net. It's a bit, sir. Back against Manchester United instead of being nope. on loan. David Ayer, what a goalkeeper, by the way. Ericsson. I'll tell you what, I fancy it. Ericsson. I'm going to try the Penenka. Manuel Neuer, sent to the shops yet again. Thomas Muller steps up. Oh, my God. I thought I had him in back pocket then. Anthony. Tries to put this one away. Not been in favour of leaving the club. But what a penalty. Nabry steps up. Massive pressure on his shoulders. Nope. And David Ayer... He, the, he's going to be leaving the club, obviously. He's left the re club in real life. But God, he's made some incredible saves. That one, biggest of them yet. Knocking Bayern Munich out of the Champions League. Moving on to the quarterfinals. What a save, David De Gea. It's going to be hard to let it go of him just with how incredible he's been. But I do want to keep his career mode realistic. And David De Gea has left in real life, so unfortunately... It is going to be come to a point where we do have to get rid of him. But for now, this is where I'm going to end today's episode. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. Make sure you leave your press conference questions for next video. They will all be mentioned in the next video if you leave some. Following the word PCQ. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Take care, stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video.